All right, yo, what's happening? Uh, one, I picked up Pulsar X2 Mini. So I put some time into this one. Uh, it's extremely light. Uh, I'm not used to a really light mouse. Uh, I went from Logitech G Pro, and then I've been rocking the G303 Shroud Edition for a long time. Um, decided I want to give a lightweight mouse a try. And it took me a minute to get used to it. Um, you know, I, I was a little bit shaky aim in the beginning, going dropping down from, I think they roughly like this is around like in the mid 70s grams to a 52 to 53 gram mouse. Um, and this is the mini version, if I haven't said that yet. And it, it's really comfortable. It's so, in my opinion, the shroud is a little wide here for, for for me. So I got the mini version of the X2 because of that. Because I really, I really want to know if like that would help me at all is to narrow the width of this mouse. And I found it really comfortable. And But I did change my grip a little bit when it comes to this. Because usually um, I grip the mouse right here. Let me go to the... Sony, so this camera to show you that. All right, so I did change my grip style a little bit when it comes to this smaller mouse. I put three fingers on top of the mouse instead of two, which this is completely fine, but I just found it a little more comfortable when I had three. And another great thing about this one is it does come with a really nice cord, which is like, it's not a big deal because it's wireless. But it's a nice little, you know, feature that you know that comes with it. Battery life on it is crazy. Like I, f I feel like in you know 2022, most wireless mouse have great, great um, battery life. And like, if, especially if it doesn't have RGB, like this one and the shroud. The shroud, you know, these two mouse last a really, really long time when it comes to battery life. And the probably one of the best thing about this is in stock on Amazon under a hundred bucks. That is hard to beat for a lightweight mouse. This shape it's a safe shape, like the G Pro Wireless. But if you don't want to spend like the Super Light's one hundred and sixty dollars, so if you don't want to spend that much money, but you love that shape, this is a great option. Uh, this is the mini. They have a medium version, uh, which would be more comparative to the G Pro. And I, I know I don't talk a lot, a lot about the G Pro, but the G Pro is the most popular mouse out there. Um, and Logitech really hasn't done any updates to the Superlight in probably almost two years now. So, and it's still just expensive. It's just too expensive. But... The software, let's talk about the software. Software is very simple. Um, I'll pull it up right now. So this is the software. It's very basic, straight to the point. You're not gonna, uh, you know, set your DPI here. They've got, oh, well, another thing I wanted to say, uh, this motion sync. Um, if you don't know what motion sync is, it's when like the, when the communication between the computer and your mouse and how smooth it'll be as far as relaying the messages. I, there is a better explanation out there and a more like there's a graph that'll show you this. I'm doing a poor example of explaining this. Um, most like from here on out, I would imagine every single mouse um, would have this feature. So if you're like me, I don't like when there's cutouts in the shell, in the top shell. Um, I found that just uncomfortable and weird. So the solid shell is a go-to for me. So when they want to save weight, they cut it out of the back, which is completely fine. Uh, it seems like it still holds an integrity. Um, and they did a nice job of the board underneath, uh, the same color. Like if you get a white one, it's a white board with like black lettering. And then the black one's obviously black with like white lettering 
Uh, the skates on it are very nice. Very, very, it's a very smooth mouse. I mean, that's that's hard to mess up in today's age. And all the buttons are crisp. It, like I said, it took me a minute to get used to the lightweight because I'm used to a more heavier a mouse. Comes at 53 grams on my on my scale, and I've been rocking the shroud and. This comes in at 74. So that difference, um, I had to get used to the, the light. I had to get used to the lightweight. It took me a minute to get used to it. And I almost like, I almost gave up on them. Like, okay, I, maybe this is not for me because when you go to an extremely lightweight mouse, you if you can't find it, you'll tend to be shaky, have like a little bit more shaky aim because you're not used to the weight. The coating is a very nice coating. It's not slippery at all. Um, the wear and the very little that I've used it is not noticeable yet. Um, I'm sure over time, like with most things, you'll see the wear, but it uh, it definitely feels good. Now, um, depending on your grip style, this may not be for you and it may be for you. So if you like do a palm grip, I feel like this mouse is too small for that. Um, it just feels that feels weird, but I feel like most people have a fingertip grout fingertip uh, grip like It's what I use like the the back of the mouse does not touch my palm So you have a lot of control a lot of micro like when you need to micro adjust That mouse is not coming close to your palm when your fingertip is and I have a pretty average size hand so also um USB-C, good to see. I feel like, you know, anything made now is made with that. Like even the Logitech finally started doing it with their um, mouse that they came out recently. Who trained you? Taken down. <laughs> 